Welcome to Mikon's Hardware. In this video I have got you yet another review of a Chinese motherboard from AliExpress. This one is Tinyue B760i for Intel LG1700 socket. This motherboard has lots of connectivity options and on my secondary channel you can find an unboxing video with a quick specs overview. In this video though I'm going to follow my printout and tell you all the important things about this motherboard if you want to buy one. Right from the beginning I have got issues testing this motherboard because it came without a battery. The battery was brutally cut off and there were two naked wires that I had to fix somehow. I bought this little plastic case to install the battery and connect the wires. It works, uh, but it's very annoying and you need to be aware of this problem. Tinyue B760i does not have a socket for the battery, that's why the sellers had to just cut off the battery and send it like that. After fixing the battery, I figured out that my motherboard does not boot with XMP settings and after some troubleshooting I figured out that it is because I'm using very old BIOS version. My motherboard came to me with a BIOS version 02 and this BIOS is so old that it is not even listed on the TeenUA website. TeenUA website kinda works, but unfortunately every download link leads to nowhere. Thus, I'm very thankful to my Bilibili subscriber who helped me getting the BIOS. I updated my BIOS to the latest available option, right now it is BIOS version 08, but also 06 version I'm going to upload to my Microsoft OneDrive with the detailed instructions how to flush the BIOS using USB flash drive, a link will be in the video description. With the latest BIOS XMP settings are working, but we still have a few quirks. First, the motherboard does not automatically set the correct memory voltage. In my case I had to manually set 1.35 volts because my memory does not boot with the XMP settings if I leave it on auto, so I assume that on auto motherboard uses 1.2 volts. Then by default motherboard is setting gear ratio to be 2 and that means that the memory speed and the CPU cache speed are not synchronized. This impacts memory performance and especially it hits the memory latency. Thus, you have to manually set gear ratio to 1, but even after this manual tuning, memory performance of B760i is slightly worse than Huanan G B660M ITX, even though I use identical memory. This is probably because the secondary timings which are left on auto are slightly better with Huanan G motherboard compared to TeenUM motherboard. Speaking about the performance, I need to mention that the default power consumption limit for the CPU is 250 watts. I have removed the limit and tested Cinebench R23 with i7 and i5. So with i7 12700K I have 22627 points. Hardware unboxed in the review report 22840 points. With i5 13500 with the TeenUA motherboard I'm getting 20810 points and hardware unboxed report 20682 points. So you can see that with i7 the score is slightly lower, with i5 the score is slightly higher, overall the scores are basically identical. So I don't see any major problems here and already these scores can indicate that we have somehow decent VRM with this B760i motherboard. Checking the VRAM components, I find exactly the same PWM controller with 8 plus 1 phases. Unfortunately, I was not able to identify what MOSFETs are used on this motherboard. Detailed tech numbers you will see on your screen and if you have any information please share with me. But what I can say is that this VRAM is more than enough for i7-12700K without any power restrictions. Testing with ADA64 for half an hour, I did not register any place on the motherboard that would heat up for more than 60 degrees Celsius. In this case, I have also validated temperatures on the back side of the motherboard because the VRM heatsinks are rather large and they block access to the VRM components. One more important thing to tell about is the PCI Express configuration of this motherboard. Sure, we have the PCI Express X16 slot that works at PCI Express 4.0 speed, but we also have two extra M.2 slots to install NVMe SSD drives. One at the top and one at the bottom of the motherboard. Both of the slots are PCI Express 4.0 X4. The top one or the front one or the first one is connected to the CPU and the bottom one or the second one or the rear one is connected to the chipset. 
Thus, if you have only one SSD, I recommend you installing it into the first slot so it gets a direct connection to the CPU. This first slot also has an SSD heatsink, and this heatsink is rather nice. We have thermal pads at the bottom and at the top of the SSD, and additionally we have a small fan that blows air through this heatsink. I was not able to identify if the fan is actually changing speed when the SSD is heating up or cooling down. I tried to run some crystal disk mark benchmarks to heat up the SSD, but I was not able to register any speed difference of the fan. Thus, I suspect that the fan has a static speed, but what's good is that it is not noisy at all. At least, I was not able to hear it. The SSD heatsink also has some sort of an RGB light. Unfortunately, we do not have any control over this light. The RGB is fully automatic, it is not possible to disable it, it is not possible to adjust it. For RGB, we also have two ARGB headers on the motherboard, and this is another letdown. There is absolutely no software which is compatible with this motherboard. It is only possible to set a single static color, providing RGB values in the BIOS settings. On the motherboard, you also get an M.2 slot to install Wi-Fi adapters, and according to the specification, it's supposed to work with the PCI Express and CNVI modules, but in my case, no matter what I try, the PCI Express modules would not work there. Bluetooth works, Wi-Fi doesn't. Thus, I suspect that it is a typo in the specification and Team UAB 760i, just like 100G motherboards, support only CNVI Wi-Fi modules. What's worth mentioning is that M.2 slot for Wi-Fi adapters is located under VRM heatsink, and in order to be able to install a Wi-Fi module, you need to remove the VRM heatsink. This is very annoying and very frustrating, and I have no clue why engineers decided to go this route, but it is what it is. What else can I tell about B760i motherboard from Team Yue that's important? Probably I need to mention that the motherboard has a few standard Chinese issues. For example, smartphone works only with 4-pin PWM fans. If you connect a 3-pin voltage-regulated fan, it will be rotating at 100% speed and it will be very noisy. The motherboard also does not have any additional temperature sensors, you only get CPU temperature readings. All other sensors are reporting some sort of a nonsense or an invalid value. And finally, I can say that customer support of the Team US store on AliExpress is just a joke. Their answers make me understand that they do not know what exactly they are selling, they don't understand how their products are working, and they do not know how to answer or how to solve typical problems or questions. Nevertheless, more or less, I like this motherboard, and my score would be 7 out of 10. Right now, you can buy it for about 100 to 120 euros, and for this price, in mini ITX form factor, with this much connectivity, you simply can't find anything else. The motherboard comes with the PCI Express 4.0x16 slot, with the two M.2 slots that are also working as PCI Express 4.0. You have an M.2 slot for Wi-Fi adapters, you have a USB Type-C connection for the front panel, you have two PWM fan headers, and you have two kinda useless ARGB headers. What's more important, you're getting a semi-decent or rather decent VRM that is plenty enough for CPUs such as i7-12700K. Thus, if you're looking for a connectivity-rich mini-ITX motherboard in white color, I can recommend Team UAB 760i, but only if you are not afraid to manually update your BIOS and manually tune your BIOS to reach the best performance of your memory and your CPU. With this, I have to say thanks for watching, thanks for listening, I hope it was interesting and helpful. Bye for now.